What's going on Pokemon trainers? Welcome back to another gen Pokemon video. Today we're going to be showing you the most simple streamlined user friendly method to create and then trade Pokemon directly to your Nintendo Switch or Switch 2 using our user friendly interface. Trading Pokemon through gen Pokemon is that simple that all you need is a computer or a mobile phone device, a tablet, you name it. Essentially if it can load a web page you'll be able to trade Pokemon. Now before we dive into the video you will need to complete a few simple step before you are able to trade through the website first you will need to sign in using a google account and if you visit the memberships tab here you'll have a few different memberships to choose from simply by signing up to the website you will become a regular free member this means you will be limited to six trades an hour which is extremely generous you'll be able to join limited raids limited mystery gift trades and limited mystery egg gift trades becoming a premium member gives you unlimited trades as well as all of the other features listed here except for the pogo master collection whereas the pogo master collection gives you access to all of the features as well as a huge variety of pokemon go files which have all been moved over from pokemon go which you can trade directly into the game of your choice and just a quick disclaimer guys before we dive right into the video you will need a nintendo switch or a nintendo switch 2 with an active nintendo online subscription and an internet connection this does not work on emulators and only supports legitimate hardware and software purchases now that we have that out of the way let's dive into the good stuff today we're going to be using the pokedex feature the thing that makes the pokedex such an awesome feature on gen pokemon is how simplistic it makes it for us to find the pokemon that we want to trade into legend za so we can literally search by name so if we wanted to trade a pikachu today we could type in pikachu we can also filter by type so all of the different types in the game so if you wanted a psychic type you can select psychic and that is going to bring up every psychic type that is available in the game and then obviously we have the legend za selected as that's what we're making a video for today but make no mistake this feature also supports all of the other nintendo switch title pokemon games now another legendary feature of the pokedex is how simple it makes it for us to keep track of the pokemon we've traded through our game we can literally check off the pokemon we've traded so we can physically keep track of the pokemon we've moved into our games and what's even better is say if we wanted to trade this max champ into pokemon legend za once we've actually traded it to the trade bot and then completed our trade we come back to the pokedex tab this is going to be checked off for us automatically so you don't even need to manually go ahead and check it off the website is going to handle all of the hard work for us so what we're going to do now is actually select a pokemon and show you how the trade process works and come back to the pokedex screen and show you that this Pokemon has been ticked off. So we're going to select an Onyx. Once you've selected the Pokemon of your choice, it's going to bring up this pop-up window with your Pokemon. If you click Pokemon details, it's going to bring the Dropbox down and give you some information of your Pokemon. Now, we can't actually edit the information or the details of our Pokemon. These are preset values, which is what makes part of the Pokedex feature such a simplistic way to get our Pokemon. We've obviously selected Pokemon Legends EA, so Legends EA is pre-filled for us we can then go ahead and select a met location which is extremely important to do so onyx here has two different met locations it's got a standard encounter and an alpha encounter you can select whatever option you like we are going to select alpha obviously the game version is pre-filled for us and then we can select continue up next we do have a few customizations that we can make to our pokemon first up is the pokeball option where we can select what ball our pokemon comes in we are going to put our onyx in a master ball we can also give our pokemon a held item now currently a shiny stillic is extremely difficult to request through our trade bots because the one and only encounter for stillix in the game is through a main mission and this mission encounter is a static encounter meaning the steelix cannot be shiny so the best way to navigate around this shiny steelix problem is to give our onyx here a metal coat so we'll go ahead and type in metal and then you'll see metal coat comes up for us now when we trade it over into the game our onyx is going to evolve into a steelix we can also select our gender, so male or female. Let's go with female. It is then going to pre-fill the level. As you can see, it's pre-filled in 47. 
This is the minimum encounter for an Alpha Onyx in the game. So you're not able to go less than 47, but you can certainly increase the level if you like, or you can hit the max button here, and that is going to set the level to 100. And then the last but not least, Shiny. So we can have our Onyx traded over as regular, or we can have it traded over as Shiny. And everybody wants a Shiny Pokemon, so we are going to select Shiny. Once you are happy with your changes, we can go ahead and click on place order. It is then going to bring you to this screen where you can review the Pokemon you've created. Here we can see the Onyx is a level 100, female, Master Ball with the Metal Coat, so all the changes that we made. You'll then see down the bottom here where it has requirements. As I said earlier in the video, you will need an active Nintendo Switch online subscription for this to work. Stable internet connection is recommended for smooth trading. Try to avoid hotspot connections and use a Wi-Fi connection if possible and obviously make sure your game is up to date to the latest version and then obviously we have the big glaring green trade now button now before we click this i suggest you have your nintendo switch powered on and connected to the internet ready to go so when you are ready we can go ahead and slap that green trade now button it's then going to process your trade and give you a unique link code go ahead and enter this into your game when the trade bot is almost ready to trade you, it's going to say, get ready, initializing trade. It's then going to say, we are searching for you. So we want to head over to our game and enter that link code. So press X, head to link play, head to link trade, far away players. It's then going to communicate with the Nintendo servers and connect you to the online servers. We then want to punch in your unique link code. Then click the plus button or the OK button and begin searching for your trade partner. Now, once you find your trade partner, guys, I always suggest when you trade to a trade bot that you trade over a low level Pokemon that you don't care about. Something that is easily obtainable and easily forgettable. So just something that you can throw away and never have to worry about again. Once you have connected to the trade partner, guys, like I said, a low level throwaway Pokemon that you don't care about. And also you need to be relatively quick when you are selecting your trade partner so the trade bot doesn't cancel on you. So we're gonna trade over this level 42 Phalanx here, offer him up, and as you can see there, our shiny Alpha Onyx level 100, exactly how we requested, is going to be traded over to us. And because it is holding that metal coat, once the trade is complete, our shiny Alpha Onyx is going to evolve into an absolutely stunning Steelix. There we have it, the trade is complete. You can see, catching out of a Master Ball, which we selected in the creator. And there we go, Onyx is about to evolve. Like I said, guys, this is how easy it is to get Pokemon using the Pokedex feature on genpokemon.com. I absolutely love the evolution screen in Legends EA2. There it is, guys. Our shiny Alpha Onyx in Pokemon Legend ZA. And there is our absolutely stunning Steelix in our box. As you can see, in the Master Ball that we requested, it is shiny and it is Alpha. And if we move it to our party and then bring it out in the game, you can just see how massive these Alphas are in Pokemon Legend ZA. Then if we head back over to the website and we click back to Pokedex, we scroll down and find that Onyx. Here it is. You can see it has been checked off the Pokedex list. How good is that? And that right there is how to use the Pokedex feature on genpokemon.com to create simple tread Pokemon to use through the integrated trade bots through the website. This process is extremely simple and can generally see a Pokemon from website to game in less than 60 seconds. And that's it for the video today, guys. Take what you've learned in the video today and apply it to any of the Pokemon in the Pokedex feature that you would like, and you'll have no problems at all at getting any Pokemon in Legends EA into your game. And don't forget, we also have a Discord server, so if you'd like to join the community, I will leave the link down in the description of the video, or you can click on the little Discord icon at the bottom of the screen. Alrighty guys, that is it for the video today. Until next time, I'll catch you on the next Gen Pokemon video.